The king, he wrote a love letter, and he sealed it up with gold, and he sent it to Lord Derwentwater, for to read it if he could. The first two lines that he did read, it made him for to smile, but the next two lines he looked upon made the tears from his eyes to fall. Oh, then cried out his lady fair, as she in childbed lay, Make your will, make your will, Lord Derwentwater, before that you go away. Then here's to thee, my lady fair, my true and lawful wife, a thousand pounds in beaten gold to lead you a lady's life. When he put his foot in the stirrup to mount his milk-white steed, while the ring dropped from his little finger, and his nose it began to bleed. He rode and he rode and he rode along, till he came to Westminster Hall, where all the lords of England's court a traitor did him call. Oh, why am I a traitor, said he, Indeed, I'm no such thing. I have fought the battles valiantly of James, our noble king. Then there stood up an old grey-headed man with his pole-axe in his hand. Tis your head, tis your head, Lord Derwentwater. Tis your head that I demand. He laid his head upon the block, his eyes with weeping sore. He laid his head upon the block, and words spoke never more.